Hi, this is Digital Lady Sid, and I'm just doing a very short video here on AI Remix. That's a, one of the filters in Topaz Studio. Um, I was going to do something with um, a little more complex, but I will attempt to do another video on some of the other Topaz filters next week. But right now, this is a photo called Guitar Man from Pixabay, and it's one of my favorite because it's a really nice photo just to try different effects on and that is what I basically use um, my Topaz Studio for is to do the really creative um, uh, more expressionist type of art as opposed to um, just taking a photo and cleaning everything up now that doesn't mean you can't do that in Topaz Studio they do a great job with it but a lot of people cover that I'm gonna just show you what this um, AI remix does very quickly uh, this week they released a new version so i'm going to show you go up here to topaz or filter and down here at the bottom is my topaz studio and i go into topaz studio and i kind of wanted um, to show you some of the how how quick it is now and some of the newer things this is all the plugins that are on all the different um that they have for all the different uh filters and i use them sometimes but most of the time i don't I like to do my own thing. Down here along the bottom, you'll see right there is the image that's up here. If I would happen to go in and decide to use one of my plugins up here, and uh, once I apply it, it'll come in as a new version here. Or if I decide to use the apply over here, I'll get a new version. And apparently they kind of look at it like that's their layer system. I find it a little bit confusing for me, but I'm getting comfortable with it after I've used it a few times, so that's kind of the trick, I think. I almost exclusively use Topaz Studio as a plug-in for my Photoshop because I like to pop in and out of different filters, not just the Topaz ones, um, at will. But that's because that's the creative side of me, and I just, you know, I happen to know something I want to apply. So real quick here, um, I'm going to apply just to let you know one of the new things out that they're doing is this ai clear and it is actually a, a wonderful plugin that they've just come up with and it's very subtle but you can see the difference here it's been applied and if i zing this along here woo, a little bit here you can see it's just slightly sharper if i change this over to like high sharpness which i usually put mine on high you can just tell right there it went sharper and like to a medium for noise it, it does a really really good job of this but that's not what i'm working on today and i actually don't need to use ai clear on this because that's not you know it it, it isn't necessary for what i'm working on but anyway that is definitely something you ought to look into uh, it's their new technology, and I love all their um, artificial intelligence uh, filters, and this one is goes right along. But let's do their AI Remix, which is one of their other artificial intelligence ones. Now, they've come up with, I believe they added something like 28 new layer styles. These are called layer styles over here. And what I wanted to show you, we're going to uh, put this thing back out. Let's sing it out here. Yeah, here we go, just to, so that you could see it. Just that in itself looks really good. I mean, that's the before and that's the after. And if you take this, I, I find the AI Remix is just way too much. When you set it up to one, you got to pop it down a little bit. But to me, that looks really good. And I didn't really see much difference between, you see a little bit in the, between the medium and the high. And to be honest, I kind of like the low because the low seems to give you a little bit whiter color, you know, softer all around, and that's kind of the look I like. Um, but anyway, that's just one of the examples that was using the very first one, the default that, that it comes with. So, and I generally set this down around, you know, 50%, somewhere 40 to 50% because I, I think it's too much if you put, put it on, you know, too high. But I just kind of wanted to just flip through a few of these just so you could see what, what it does. I mean, even that's an interesting result. You go in here and you can divide it by abstracts, 
which these are all definitely very much abstract looks and I, I don't care for that so much, but there's a time it might work well, especially with a different blend mode. So that's why you can't write these off. Um, high impact, very bright colored. See, that looks really nice. I mean, just even that does. Um, and if you changed, like look at this, you go in and you can change your um, blend modes and they come out really nice. You know, just nice subtle effect. I, I just think that's really pretty. And it looks like somebody did a lot of work on it. And it, it's basically just playing with some combinations here. Um, I also went down here. Let's see here. If you go into uh, what they've got is sketch section, which I really like my things to look a little sketchy sometimes. And, uh, you know, you can, you can once again get some really nice, nice looks. That's a nice clean basic look right there and if you increase it it might even look better with these increased a little bit so i i just can't tell you i just love the creativity that can be done with these and then you can still use their layer mask and take it off a part of the image um there was one i particularly like um i think it's like way down at the bottom here it's called their white water and uh it's one that i've used on several of my images recently and I really I just kind of like it it's just very pretty so violet night I mean I just I think it's all really quite quite intriguing and so this is basically what I want to show you what you could do um, this one's kind of nice right here I like the way the way it looks now if you you take this and then just personally impression is like right up there for me as far as maybe one of the best plugins ever made and this is just the default setting right here of it um, so you can see if I turn this off you can see it's real subtle to uh, whoops turn that on and off you can see a subtle difference but I think that's quite pretty and uh, then you can go down here you know and and uh, you can actually one of the things that's kind of cool is you can go in then and get your HSL's uh, color tuning. Now if you switch over this, you can see if I switch over to the reds, let's see if that affects, see I can make that look really good there. Uh, a little bit of orange, maybe add, the, add the, that color back into it a little more, but it's got a definitely much more of a painterly look to it. Uh, do something like this. Anyway, that's exactly what I wanted to show you. And I do feel like Topaz has a major winner here with Remix. So if you're at all interested, you should, should check it out and at least download the trial. Because if you're, if you're a creative, you might be really, really pleased with this. So um, I guess that's all I really wanted to say today. Um, I'm going to say okay on that. And uh, if you want to follow me, you can... Uh, Check out my blogs at sidspix.wordpress.com, and this, this video will be connected with that blog, and I'll have a link to it. My Tidbits blog is my blog where I just try out all different kinds of things. Some of it's good, some of it's not, but I have a lot of fun with it. Websites at sidjohnson.com. So um, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, leave them for me, and I'll get back to you, and I'll see you in another week. Bye.